Hey there guys and welcome back to Pokemon Yellow. We're in Celadon Department Store because I forgot I needed to buy a Pokedoll for something that comes into play later on in the game. So might as well take the Pokedoll with me already while I'm here. So now that that's done, there are still a couple other things we can do in this city. We haven't fought the gym yet for starters, but we're probably not going to do that just yet. First, there's some TMs we can buy. I'm going to buy one of TM17, which I think is a move I can make some use of. Uh, where is it, TM17? Here we go. Submission. It's a fairly powerful fighting move that I'm going to teach to Nidoking because it is stronger than Double Kick. Also, Pikachu, Charmeleon, and War Turtle can also learn it. That's pretty funny. Because apparently it's some sort of wacky wrestling move, and I really can't imagine Pikachu doing one of those. And also, the TM for Rock Slide that I got in the last episode, I looked it up. The sixth Pokemon I'm planning to use cannot learn Rock Slide, so I'm gonna teach that to Nido King as well. Get rid of Horn Attack because Thrash is better. So there we go, Nido King has a pretty beastly moveset now Thrash, Thunderbolt, Rock Slide, and Submission. That's gonna be good. Now, now that that's all over and done with, let's go and do some stuff. Because this episode has not been very eventful up until now. So, the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna pay a little visit to the game corner. Yep, gambling in a kid's game. They took him out in the most recent Pokemon games. Bit of a bummer. But then again, did anyone ever really do anything with those slot machines? I mean, sure, the Game Corner prizes were fun, but all I ever did was just buy the coins instead of playing the damn slot machines. Which is, I'm pretty sure is what everyone did. Anyway, battle a rocket guy. Because there's totally nothing suspicious behind this poster. Am I right? Anyway, Ivysaur versus Eradicate. Ooh, nice one, Ivysaur. Tail Whip, let's see if Cut can finish him off. Probably can. Yep, nice. Because Ivysaur... Definitely needs a little bit of experience. Zubat. Uh, something for Pikachu to take care of. Man, I'm suddenly way over leveled, it seems. Or the Team Rocket guys are just complete chumps, which is probably the more likely scenario. Down goes Zubat. Defeated Rocket. Dang, yep, dang. That is exactly what I would say in this situation. Our hideout might be discovered. I better tell Boss. Well,. Now that you said your hideout is here, it's definitely discovered, so why don't you just keep your trap shut? Switch behind the poster, let's push it. And then suddenly stairs. Yep, mob dungeon underneath a casino, who would have guessed? Alright, let's, uh, who's Ivysaur still up front, right? Yeah. Uh, let's put Charmeleon up front. Because this guy's probably going to use poison types, and Charmeleon has dig, so that should be good. Alright, Rocket, let's see what you got. Two Pokemon. Drowsy, okay, that's not a poison type. But Charmeleon will probably do fine. Uh, dig is still his strongest move by far. Because Dig has 100 base power, Ember only has 40, so... Dig is pretty much Charmeleon's best move right now. And then Swift to wrap it up. Nice. Really wish Charmeleon would start learning a better fire move already, though. Machop. Um, I will throw War Turtle out there. Why not? He's bulky, he can take some hits. Let's go, Bubble Beam. Machop in a silly sprite. Speed fell, Karate Chop. Oh, that uh, speed drops also lower your critical hit rates, and he still gets one. And then Water Gun should do enough damage to finish him off. Nice. Good job, War Turtle. Level 28. Excellent. Only 8 more levels until we have a Blastoise. Ow, beaten. No, your Pokemon are beaten. I didn't actually physically beat you. Though I'm certainly tempted to. Oh, that's a dead end. To the left, then. Another guy. We'll battle him on our way out. And let's see what this is. Escape Rope. Well, I'll take that. Those are always handy if you're stuck in a dungeon and you want to get the hell out. You broke into our operation? Well, some guy basically told me where this whole operation was going on, so yeah, I was kind of tempted to do that. Another Eradicate. 
At least they're starting to evolve their Pokémon, finally. Alright, Ember. I'm not really sure why I didn't just go for Dig. Hmm, that's not really satisfactory damage, Charmeleon. Hmm, well, at least he's not using Hyper Fang. That would be way worse. And I'm pretty sure Eradicate knows Hyper Fang by level 21. Ooh, there we go. That'll do. And now I'm faster than him all of a sudden. Actually, I think it was faster all the time, except he was using Quick Attack. Okay, another Eradicate. Let's throw Nidoking in there, because he has some new moves to show off. Ain't that right, Nidoking? Submission! Oh, come on, Nidoking, now you're just making an ass of yourself. Do submission! Well, that's kind of a lame animation, but then again, pretty much all move animations were lame in Generation 1. The recoil is a bit unfortunate, but it's... Still quite a bit stronger than Double Kick is, so probably worth it. And besides, Submission might not be on Nidoking's moveset for that long, because he can learn a lot of better moves. Oh, that's a dead end as well. Ah, uh, go down the stairs. Alright. Man, this floor tiling is making me want to puke. It's like horrible looking bat look th you know those white and black bathroom tiles it kind of looks like this except freaking neon green i know it's the game boy colors color limitations but imagine if like in universe that dungeon's floor or that base's floor actually looked like that how tacky would that be i mean damn i don't think any self-respecting tiler would lay such a floor I'm not sure if that's the proper phrasing to describe how that process works, but that's how you say it in my language and I kind of just translated it literally. Yes, I'm not native English speaker, and therefore I might make the occasional slip up. So yeah, sue me. Anyway, coughing level 17, come on, I'm 11 levels higher. Where's the challenge? I tell you, the first generation of games had a wacky ass leveling curve sometime. I mean, we're, we're fighting level like 17, 18 Pokemon right now, but a couple, like pretty much we have the grass gym up next and the couple gyms after that suddenly have like level 50 Pokemon, it's insane. Huge level difference all of a sudden. Really weird, it's never really explained why. You just have to start level grinding like crazy to even be able to beat those gyms. So I'm not looking forward to that. Anyway, rock slide. Ah, those sound effects. Delightful. Anyway, another Zubat bites the dust. And another Eradicate. Okay, another chance to show off submission. Hmm, quick attack, that's a bit of a bummer. I was hoping to not take as much damage. Not that it did much, because Nidoking is tanky as hell. Also, level 17 eradicate. Physically impossible. I surrender. Yep, you better. Ah, these things. Let's see if I can remember how this goes. This one takes you... Man, I forgot how slow these things are. Jesus. Also, if you look at it from uh, a basic logic... Oh, Pikachu loved it. If you look at it from a basic design standpoint, what would the, the purpose of these floor tiles that send you in some direction even be? Like, what purpose would they serve in real life? I am struggling to think of anything. Ooh, a nugget. I'll, I can sell that for big bucks, so we'll take it. Uh, let's see. I might as well. It beats walking all the way around. Uh, we need to go to this one so we can get that item. Wonder what that is. TM7. What is TM7? I don't remember. It's all the way down here. TM7 is Horn Drill. Well, I do have a Pokemon that can learn it, but... I, I don't really know if the one-hit KO moves were actually good in this generation, but they're not in any other, so I'm probably not gonna bother with Horn Drill, to be honest. That's just a gimmicky-ass move. And Nidoking is basically one-head KOing anything anyway right now. So, more spinny tiles. Ugh. Takes ages, man. Ooh, another item. 
Let's see how we get that. We need to take these tiles. There we go. I'm starting to think it might go so slow because it's just so very taxing on the Game Boy's puny processor, maybe. Like, the sprite is supposed to rotate and move. Do you, can you imagine how difficult that must be for the poor Game Boy? Surprising it doesn't just combust. Just explode, burst into flames right in your hands. Blow them off in the process. Can you imagine that, reading that in a newspaper? Kids' hands blown off by Game Boy Color. Now that'd be a headline worth reading. Alright, then down here, because I'm pretty sure we've covered every square inch of this damn floor. Another stairs, and what is over there? I will go here first. Oh, crap, I didn't see him. It was hidden behind my limited field of view. Well, we'll beat his ass regardless. Why do they all carry whips, though? That's just weird. Like, does this underground game corner base also double as a BDSM dungeon or something? It's really the only logical explanation I can think of. I mean, Japanese people are weird. I wouldn't be surprised if they snuck a little reference to some of that into the Pokemon games. At all. I mean, let's just say the norm, as far as what's considered normal, tends to differ a lot in Japan when compared to, I don't know, Europe or the US. They're a weird people. Anyway, Nido King's just having, his, having the time of his life thrashing about killing rats left and right. That's the good stuff. Level 29. Pretty nice. And a Rattata. After like three Raticates, of course they have to throw a Rattata in there as well. Just insult to injury. And Nido King's still going. I thought Thrash only lasted for like two or three turns, not four. Hmm, maybe they change that somewhere along the way. Alright, let's see what else is here. Oh, another guy. Alright guy, intruder reload. Yes indeed. Although it's not an intruder you can really do anything about, because I'm going to beat your ass like I did with all the other chumps in my way. Grimer. Well, Charmeleon does have that dig. So, sucks to be you, Grimer. You have disable all you want. You'll be disabled in a couple seconds. There we go. I'm trying to picture a Grimer in a wheelchair. That just, that just wouldn't work. Coughing. Alright, that one will suffer the same fate. Not in a wheelchair, just being taken out by Dig. There we go. Charmeleon OP, please nerf. And another coughing. I'm, I'm detecting a surprising lack of Ekans so far. A whole bunch of coughing, like no Ekans. Which is strange, because they're pretty much equally affiliated with Team Rocket as far as like the anime goes. So that's a little weird. I can't do it. You can't do what? say intruder alert or stop me probably the latter over here we have a hyper potion well those are always good to have okay nothing else in this room just two guys in a hyper potion so then we'll go through here see what's over in this little room oh yeah this is the elevator so we need a key crap where do you get the key I must have missed it somewhere Take it up here, maybe. Oh, I forgot about these stairs. This is where the key has to be, then. Oh, that's a dead end. Wow, they don't even bother to hide an item at the end of that long-ass corridor. Ah, create more of this. That's just swell. Okay, let's see. That one takes me there. This one. This is the one we need. Although there is another guy in the way, but that shouldn't be much of a problem. I'll stomp him like I did all the other ones. Stop meddling in Team Rocket's affairs. Well, you stop doing evil things then, if you don't want me to meddle in them. It's basic logic. Send out Rattata, yep, yeah, because we haven't seen enough of those already this episode. Charmeleon? Uh, throw some stars, I don't care. Any move will do, really. Other than Rage. Rage sucks. Alright, another Swift. And that ought to do the job. Level 30. 
Excellent. I kind of do want Charmeleon leveled up a bit because we do have a grass type gym coming up and Charmeleon is really the only thing I have that's any good against that. I mean, I guess I have War Turtle with Ice Beam, but he's also weak to grass, so that's a little risky. Pikachu can't really do much. I guess Nidoking could try and brute force the whole thing. Ivysaur is going to be just useless. And yeah, probably going to have to really count on Charmeleon and Nidoking for that one. Anyway, Drowsy. Yeah, it's, it's a Psychic type, but Nidoking can probably one-shot it with Thrash. Yep, poor Drowsy. Alright, that was easy. Oof, taken down, although Nido King is starting to get a little bit low on health. Just a little bit. Okay, another stairs. What do we have down here? Ooh, item ball. What do we have? No more room for items. What? Uh, what's TM8? Body slam. Oh no, we definitely don't want to get rid of that. Uh, Rare Candy, TM18, Counter. Eh, we'll hang on to that. That was Try Attack, I remember that one. Uh, what can I... I can use the Super Potion, I guess. There. Should have room now. I think. Yep. Uh, TM7 was... or that was Horn Drill. We'll also toss the Moonstone, because I'm not gonna need that anymore. Because I'm not gonna use a Nidoqueen, a Clefable, or a Wigglytuff, so screw the Moonstone. And we find an HP up. Well, that's a bit of a waste, but I guess I can just use this. Ivysaur, why not? Who cares? And then in the next episode of Pokemon Yellow, we'll continue exploring Team Rocket's base and putting a stop to their evil plans for the umpteenth time.